My name is John McKeon. I'm the moderator for the Teradata River, and today we have with us Joe Boswell, Head of Revenue and Customer Analysis for British Airways. Joe, welcome to the river. Thank you. Joe is going to be doing a great presentation of Partners Conference coming up on 3D performance management, navigating profits in the airline industry should be a great session. And today we're going to do a short interview about the high points of her presentation. Joe, you talk about 3D performance management. What really has driven you to actually even address something like this? Well, the drivers for change in implementing this process initially were some symptoms of a problem that we were finding within our performance management process. And they were symptoms such as knee-jerk reactions to some of our commercial performance problems. And the reason we were knee-jerking is that those performance problems were taking us by surprise and we hadn't been able to identify them in a timely way. Frequently, this would then result in some ad hoc meetings being called, and we found that numerous ad hoc meetings were being called to address performance issues, and this was inefficient in terms of our diary management and our response to those performance issues. And I think probably the third symptom of the problem was, to a certain extent, actually a lack of visibility of the strategies that were being employed within revenue management to address commercial performance issues to our colleagues in sales and equally a lack of visibility of the sales strategies being deployed to our colleagues in revenue management. So we felt that a complete review of the end-to-end performance management process would be the best way to address some of these issues that we were coming across and to see if we could streamline that process and integrate it in a better way to ensure that we were all working to one version of the truth and a single coherent understanding of our performance issues. Joe, something like this is pretty complex. How hard was it to implement? It is complex, but I think from the starting point, we had two significant things in our favor. The first of those is that our data is all sourced from one platform, and it's an integrated data platform, which has been on a Teradata platform for many years now. And we've made pretty good process with having pretty much 100% of commercial data that we require to support this performance management process sourced from that single platform. The important thing about that is it means that we're not arguing over the numbers, which I think often is the case where people are looking at introducing this kind of a process. So we're not arguing over the numbers. The numbers all tally. I think the difference of opinion just came around the interpretation So I think that was the first thing in our favor. Secondly, I think what is important is that we've already established within our commercial function a center of excellence for analysis. And I think, again, other organizations tend to have analytical resource which is dedicated and specialized by function. And that is another element that sort of drives a wedge in terms of a consistent and coherent understanding of performance management issues because people are applying different interpretations. So I think we had an advantage in that we have a single team that perform that function across all of our commercial activities, and that enables us to be part of an objective team with a broader view. So I think from that aspect, we had a head start. Having said that, it was still a challenge to review the end-to-end process and think about how each part of the process linked to the next part. And I think probably the thing that challenged us the most was some of the disciplines around the meeting cycle in terms of recording what the inputs needed to be, what the outputs needed to be, recording the actions, and making sure those were visible to all. And I think that's actually been one of our biggest challenges. As you know, the airline industry is very fast-paced and dynamic, So the sort of people that uh, enjoy that kind of climate are not necessarily the sort of people that are good at following the disciplines of a process. Joe, but at the end of the day, somebody's going to ask you, how far did you move the needle? So what have been the success factors to date? Some of the success factors for us have been around, if you like, some of the softer benefits. So we have found that those ad hoc meetings have been largely eradicated. 
that's to say that we are identifying performance issues in a timely way. We're able to take action and therefore the sort of knee-jerk reactions that we were having no longer happen. So that is great news. That's come about because we have very clear weekly and monthly summaries of where we are and what the outlook is. And that is understood across the organization and also enables us to give very good visibility up to our leadership team of where we stand in terms of our commercial outlook. I think another aspect which has been really successful is that we have extremely good traction uh, on our actions as well. And we keep a very effective log of what activities we've tried, how successful they've been. And that enables us to learn from experience and, and make sure that we're recording that for the future. I would say also one of the probably the, the litmus tests around how successful this has been has been the setup of International Airlines Group as our parent company. Obviously, that's a new dynamic in the organization. BA is still an independent operating company, but ultimately we are now answerable to International Airlines Group. And we've had extremely good feedback, actually, from our new masters at International Airlines Group. And we've been able to satisfy them with a sufficient reading of the outlook that has been accurate. And so that's really helped as we set up that new venture. Joe, it sounds excellent. But you've got to have your eye on the future. This is a tremendous infrastructure to put in place for performance. What do you see as the future direction of this? Well, so we're always looking to see how we can improve on the existing process. And I think we've got a number of areas that I would class under the continuous improvement heading, where we're looking at how we do our forecasting, the methodologies we employ to see how we can hone that and ensure that that is as accurate and efficient as it can be. But equally looking at what other approaches we can develop to save ourselves time when we delve into the data on a weekly and monthly basis, and in particular looking at how we can enhance the process to develop triggers and alerts around some of the issues that we should be delving into and thinking about the metrics that we use and the business rules that we use to do that. We have other areas that I would describe as being more under the heading of transformational change. And those have come about as a result of bringing more of a retail thinking into some of our commercial activity and alongside that a need to get a better understanding of revenue margin as opposed to just flight revenue, which is traditionally what our performance management process has been based around. So the introduction of new metrics, which will require more work on our integrated data platform to get visibility of those metrics. And equally, we've got new challenges as a business as we work to develop our relationship with American Airlines and Iberia in our joint venture on the transatlantic. And obviously, what we need to do is ensure that we're really adapting this performance management cycle to encompass that new view of the world that enables us to interpret performance, not just on the BA numbers, but across the transatlantic with our partners as an alliance. So we're looking at both of those developments and what effort we need to put in to make that successful as well. Joe Boswell, Head of Revenue and Customer Analysis for British Airways. It should be a great partner session on navigating profits in the airline industry. Joe, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.